The Enterprise was called in to clarify a controversial point of the 21st century. Computer, do we have the video of Mr. Tyson talking about astrology? This video is available in our database. Play it. Uh, so, okay, let's pick October. Okay. And so October, astrologically, the sun is moving through Libra. Okay. Okay? Well, the precession of the Earth, the, the wobble, over the 26,000 years will systematically put the sun in a different constellation in the month of October. Right. Okay? So the entire zodiac rotates through the calendar. So is October still the month for Libra? No! The sun was in Libra 2,000 years ago in October. Data, why do you think Neil deGrasse Tyson made a mistake? He was the greatest astrophysicist of his time, but he forgot something. How so? There are historical facts about astrology, how it was created 2,000 years before his time. Could you explain? It's just that I can't imagine Mr. Tyson letting any data slip by in an analysis with all the wisdom and precision that was his hallmark. Could it have been Chuck's influence? Indeed. If you want, I can show it to you in detail. I need to read my emails first. Yes. This is a simple representation of the Earth's orbit, and we also have some stars in the sky, including the constellation of Aries. The positioning of the stars is that of Mr. Tyson's time. This is now the symbol for the astrological sign of Aries. Let's stop the Earth at the beginning of the sign of Aries. Notice the Sun is not in position in the direction of the constellation of Aries, even though it is in the sign of Aries. This is Neil deGrasse Tyson's point of view when he says that our sign is wrong. Let's go back 2,000 years. This is the sky when astrology was created. And in fact, the sun is in the direction of the constellation of Aries. Once again, proving Mr. Tyson point. Let's forget about stars and astrology for a while and tell a story about humanity's interaction with our planet at that time. At a certain time in our history, it was noticed that there was a cycle of four remarkable phenomena, which were called seasons and were given the names spring, summer, autumn, and winter. A complete cycle was called a year. It was also realized that each of the four seasons had different effects on living beings. Plants, flowers, insects, animals, and human beings. So, some sly people, in order to fool the gullible, created a system of predictions. Depending on which season you're born in, you will have certain characteristics for the rest of your life. I am talking about seasons, not signs yet. I was peeing. Now we're looking at the same Sun-Earth system, but now in a 3D representation. The North Pole of Earth is facing us. Let's turn on some helpers. Moving the camera to a more favorable position to understand the seasons. Note that as the Earth circles the Sun, the illuminated north-south portions change. Let's take a closer look at the Earth to understand it better. The camera is fixed on the Earth while it orbits the Sun, which is off to the left of the video. Notice that the Earth's axis, which is tilted 23.5 degrees, oscillates as it orbits the Sun. Let's freeze the image. Now the amount of light and heat from the Sun that reaches the Northern Hemisphere is much greater than in the South, so we have the summer season in the North. In the fall, the amount of Sun is the same in both hemispheres. Now winter, less light in the north, it's cold there, and spring. 
As I said earlier, they created the prediction system based on the seasons. But dividing the year into four signs wasn't enough. How about dividing it into 12 to better fool the fools? Now they need to name the signs. What about spring one, spring two, spring three, summer one, etc.? No, that won't attract anyone. Let's use the names of the constellations. This is how Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and the other astrological signs got their names. So you're saying that the signs have nothing to do with the stars? That's correct. They are the seasons, not the constellations. Mr. Tyson did not take this into consideration in his podcast. Oh my gosh! Where did you learn all that? I learned from this book. It's about Neil deGrasse Tyson's relationship with astronomy, astrology, the flat earth and God. It was written by Louise Imbrosi in 2030 and was a bestseller. It won the Nobel Prize for Literature and the Hugo and Nebula Awards. Interesting. Computer, tell us what you think of all this. I think it's time to cut the crap and get back to work. Yes, ma'am. We'll be right there. Let's go. In the Southern Hemisphere, the seasons are reversed. If you were born there, your sign is wrong. This shows that astrology is a fraud, not the constellations.